Hi there and welcome to our second video in the Layers series for Corel Paint Shop Pro. Today we're going to discuss background, raster, vector, and art media layers and the differences between them. So in our last video we went over the basics of what layers are in relation to photo editing, where you can view, add, and locate them in Paint Shop Pro, and how to create layers. Now let's get into the various kinds of layers and what they're used for. First on the list we have the background layer. The background layer is a unique layer in a sense that you can really only have one. Just as painters can layer countless colors of paint and other media, they can do so only using one canvas at a time. And so think of the background as your canvas. Next we have raster layers. Raster layers are probably the most commonly used layers in PaintShop Pro, and so let's start out with a definition of what raster actually means, and this is a question that comes up a lot when people are starting to learn more about digital photography. In computer graphics, raster graphics are images comprised of a dot matrix representing a general grid of pixels or dots of color. Examples of raster images include JPEGs, GIF files, bitmaps, and PNGs. In this case, it's easiest to remember that when you're working with photos, those are always going to be raster images. The next most commonly used layer types in PaintShop Pro are vector layers. And unlike JPEGs and bitmap images, vector graphics are comprised of paths, which are defined by geometrical primitives such as points, lines, curves, and shapes, or polygons, all of which are mathematical. And text would be a common example of a vector, as its size is determined by point size. If you start typing text in PaintShop Pro, a vector layer will automatically be created by the program for you to use for that text, and that will allow you to change fonts and point sizes. Last but not least are art media layers, and art media layers in PaintShop Pro are designed to behave in the same way as simulated art projects do, much the same way as Corel Painter works if you've ever used that, or its uh, sister program uh, Painter Essentials. After doing work in the art media layer, such as painting or drawing, this layer can then be converted into a raster layer so that other effects can be applied to it, as if it were a photo. Start using one of the artistic brushes from the tools and an art media layer will automatically be created much like the vector layers are created when you select an object or the text tool. I hope this has shed some light on the mystery behind layers and what the difference is between them. In our next video we'll go into blend modes and how those can be used to create different effects in your projects. You'll definitely want to tune in to see that, it's a lot of fun. And thank you once again for watching. As always, visit learn.corel.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.